Hi friends, it's Ivy and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about my 20 for 20. I never posted a video about the 20 books I wanted to read in 2020. I just did the top 10, but I did create a list. So I am going to talk about it. I'm probably going to move over because uh, it's just going to be this is in my last video and I really don't like it there. I'm going to have to edit in a lot of these. If I were back in Vegas, I would have all these books on hand, but I'm not in Vegas. Um, I, ho I hope to go back to Vegas um, in January. That's just like a side note, but I'm waiting till after the new year because I don't particularly want to fly while everybody's traveling to and fro for the holiday. So... I think I'm gonna go back like after the holiday anyways side note so I'm gonna start this list off by talking about the six books out of this 20 list that I did read so the first one on this list is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemmerer and this was also in my top 10 so you'll see it twice this is a Beauty and the Beast retelling and it is a young adult novel I did end up giving this five out of five stars I think I really enjoyed it and the plot twist I really really enjoyed and it is about a girl named Harper who ends up in this world other than her own and trapped at this castle so I really liked Harper as a female protagonist and I really enjoyed her as our main character we do get multiple POVs in this book which I also enjoyed and was not expecting I'm glad I did accomplish this one now this one is also on both lists however I DNF this one about 75% in and this is the Gilded Wolves by Roshani Chachki and this is a heist set in Paris multiple POVs uh, similar to Six of Crows in the heist format and the multiple pov format but the stories were completely different this one however i had to dnf not because i didn't like it or hated it or anything like that i had to dnf this one because nothing stuck here nothing i know nothing i don't know a character i don't know anything and i'm it just was like i can't go on this way so i marked it as a dnf the next book that I did finish on this list was Paper Princess by Aaron Watt and this is a new adult steamy novel. It is a romance and it is about a girl named Ella. I think that's her name. Ella and Reed. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. So this is a book about a girl named Ella and she is whisked away by this man who is like, I'm your dad's best friend. He died. I'm going to take care of you. He didn't know you exist until right before he died and he basically is like come live at my mansion and he has sons and one of his sons who is angsty his name is reed he is the boss of all the brothers he's kind of mean to ella and it is a haters to lovers trope and it was a good time i'm really glad i'm really glad i read this i ended up giving it five out of five stars and i just i couldn't look away it was a mess but like i liked it i couldn't look away so I'm really glad I knocked this off my list. The next book I read off of this list was All the Rage by Courtney Summers. This is a young adult thriller kind of novel. It is very much in the vein of Sadie where a girl goes through something traumatic and we're watching her deal with this experience. This one has to deal with sexual assault. So just know that going in i think i read this book in like two days when i read it maybe even a day like i could not put it down i really really enjoyed it and i believe i gave this one four out of five stars if i remember correctly the girl our main character i can't remember her name our main character's ex-best friend goes missing she's kind of in the crossfire of being blamed if i remember correctly because she was the last person to talk to her before she disappeared which obviously is true but she was also at the same party and she was drugged so she doesn't remember everything that happened because she woke up in the woods and i think it was the woods and she, she's trying to put the pieces together at that night so really good book really really good book i really recommend that one the next book i read on this list was girl out of water and Sorry, I can't remember the author's name, but I'm gonna put a picture of the book here. This is a coming of age story. It's about a girl who's born and raised in California, turn her dad, 
her mom is always like missing mia just shows up kind of whenever she wants to and her aunt gets in a car accident so they have to fly to this small town to go help her aunt and take care of her kids and she does not want to be there it's the final summer before her and all her friends go off on their separate ways to college and it was supposed to be the summer of their lifetime and she has to go away and she ends up meeting a boy there who i think his name is lincoln uh, oddly enough I can remember his name he is a skateboarder and she's a surfer and he teaches her how to skateboard and we just see this nice fun filled summer her learning new things about herself and I really really enjoyed that one and I'm really glad I read it I give it four out of five stars oh uh, I said earlier I read six books off this list I read seven I I'm a liar the next book I read off of this list was The Shining by Stephen King and I ended up giving this one three out of five stars because towards the end of it I was just like okay enough with the racial slurs like this is ridiculous it was ridiculous i really enjoyed the hotel part of the story where we first get to the hotel and we learn what the shining actually is and that the little boy got it and i love seeing him and the cook connect I really enjoyed that aspect and the dad was just mean the entire story like he was mean before they even got to the overlook hotel i did enjoy the story it's not as scary as the movie but I, yeah towards the end i was like i had enough so my rating of three stars is based upon everything outside of the over-the-top dialogue. Yeah, so moving on. The final book that I read out of this list was Wonder Woman by Leigh Bardugo. And this book, I think I either gave it three or four stars, 3.5 maybe. Um, it was really good. I really liked Diana and... Uh, her being in our world and helping her this girl that she met along the way and they become friends and the plot twists in it were really surprising so I really liked that I listened to this on audiobook so for some reason if I listen to a book on audiobook for the first time some of a lot of it disappears not all the time but sometimes the camera battery is gonna die again I have two batteries and they're both freaking dead the next book on this list and now we're rolling into the books that I did not read and the first one I'm gonna talk about is they both die at the end by Adam Silvera I don't think I'm gonna go into the synopsis for these because I, I just don't really need to because I didn't read them and then the next book is Aragon this is by Christopher Poloni I really hope to get to this one because this one has been on my TBR probably the longest out of all of the books I have so it sucked that I didn't get to this one. The next book is Stay Sweet by Siobhan Vivian. I really hope to get to this one over the summer at least. It was even on my Reading Rush TBR. Um, I didn't. It's about a girl who works at an ice cream shop. The next book I wanted to get to was The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman. I wanted to read this one in the winter and have a nice fantasy book, but that didn't happen and then I also wanted to read lock every door by Riley Sager I think this one and final girls are the only two Riley Sager books I need to read so I would like to read all of his books because I really do enjoy his writing the next book I'm going to talk about is the name of the wind and this this was just it was not going to happen it was not going to happen it, for many reasons one it's giant two we don't know when the next book is coming out three I could barely read this year and four it's giant same could be said for words of radiance by Brandon Sanderson I just big big fantasy books were not in the cards for me you guys they, they, they really weren't the next book I did think I was gonna get to because it is a smaller fantasy and to be honest I don't have interest in reading the sequel because it wasn't even supposed to have a sequel and that is Vicious by V.E. Schwab and people's reviews that I know and trust didn't enjoy uh, Vengeful so that's another reason why I wasn't going to read the sequel but I'm sad I didn't get to Vicious at least. The next book I wanted to get to was This Adventure Ends by Emma Mills. I don't have an excuse it's a small contemporary YA book I should have been able to do it but I did and then the final two books are never night and the secret history which were also on my other list which again I didn't read because they're just big books and I just I didn't have the energy to do it so 
7 out of 10 isn't half but it is what it is I tried I read what I could I'm fine with this I can't beat myself up about it so yeah if you made it to the end of this video please leave me a green heart down below and if you are looking for me on any other social medias those are linked down below if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe i hope you all have a beautiful day may the force be with you bye and bye to 2020 because girl gotta go okay we're done we're over goodbye